Arduino returning more than one value from a function. Hello friends, from the Arduino lessons functions video, we already know that many variables can be passed to a function, and it can return, either nothing, void type, or only one variable with the type specified when the function was declared. But what if there is a need to return two or more variables from a function? There are several ways to solve this problem. Now we will consider them. The simplest option is to use global variables inside a function. We create global variables and b of integer type. And inside the my underscore func function, we perform mathematical manipulations on them. Each time the function is called, both variables and b will change. With this method, the function changes the values of only specific global variables, and there is no question of returning different variables when the function is called multiple times in the program. That is, if in this example you need to change the values in parallel and other variables, for example, c and d using the existing function, then this will not work directly. The result of running this sketch on the port monitor. Here the first variable is incremented and the second variable is decremented by 1. The method is easy to understand and use, but not very functional. A more elegant way is to pass references to the values you want to change. Here already global variables are not obligatory. The main idea here is that a function can return some input variables already with a changed value. To designate such an input variable, the value of which needs to be changed, you just need to put the sign, and, in front of the name of the receiving variable when declaring the function. The function will change the values of the input variables. If you pass the variables and b when calling the function, then it will perform calculations with them and assign new values to them. Here in the example the first variable is incremented by 1 and the second variable is decremented by 1 each time the function is called. An input variable can be used in this case both as input information and as a cell for storing output information. The result of running this example in the port monitor window. Here, when the function was first called, the values of the variables and b changed. And then the values of the second pair of variables change cyclically. This method is more difficult to understand, but the most convenient and flexible. Suitable for most tasks. It's really cool. The third way is to use a struct in a function type. Thus, many variables of various types can be returned from a function. A struct is a user-defined data type that can be made up of many common standard data types. First, a structure called myStruct is declared. It has a place for two integer type variables. There can potentially be many variables of various types here. Then comes the declaration of the data's variable with the myStruct type we created. The function is also declared with the type myStruct. And in the function itself, you also need to declare a variable of the myStruct type, which will be passed outside through the return operand. The function call is inserted in loop. Here, a function with the type of our structure passes the values of two variables of type integer, packed into a structure. The result of such a sketch is displayed in the port monitor. This method will be useful in projects where it is advisable to use data structures to describe the properties of objects. I like the second method with references to the values the most. It is the most functional. And the highest aerobatics in programming is probably a combination of the first and second ways of passing several variables from a function, plus the usual passing of one variable to indicate the success or failure of the function.